vaginal dryness is a real concern. It is not comfortable to not feel like your vagina doesn't have moisture. It makes it feel raw. It makes it feel like the skin is ripping. It can feel itchy. It's just not a comfortable experience. And then it can affect your intimacy. And no one wants that. So in this video, I'm going to go through three ways to naturally help improve your vaginal moisture or your va natural vaginal lubrication. And a lot of this might be new information for you. And I absolutely hope that you start to incorporate these, these things into your life so that you can start to have healthier pelvic floor tissue and improved vaginal moisture. So you don't have to deal with the vaginal dryness that comes during menopause. Let's get started. First, I need you to know one thing that happens during menopause. When menopause hits, that means you haven't had a period for 12 months, but even in the perimenopausal phases, while your body's gearing up to stop menstruating, what happens is the body decreases in estrogen. And estrogen is a really important hormone, not just to regulate other hormones and menstruation, but also to help bring integrity and lubrication to the pelvic floor and blood flow, really blood flow is the key. And so when we start to lose that estrogen, the tissue becomes a little bit more shriveled up. It becomes a little less puffy and and more dry and less the word is more like if you take my analogy is going to be a food one so if you don't like if you if that grosses you out stop watching this now but the analogy is that a healthy tissue and healthy pelvic floor is kind of like a juicy stick and chicken breast or like a nice grape Okay, so that's the integrity of the muscle. We want it to be like a chicken breast or a grape. And when we go through menopause, a lot of times the tissue changes to more of like a beef jerky status where it loses its hydration or it becomes a shriveled up raisin. And we want to restore that hydration to the tissue and that girth and nice plumpness to the tissue in order to not have to deal with like the beef jerky status or the raisin status because a raisin or, or beef jerky doesn't have the hydration and lubrication in the muscle that we want. And when we don't have that, it's hard to have normal vaginal moisture. And so how do we get this naturally? Well, there's a few ways. Well, we have to get the pelvic floor very, very healthy. And the way to do that is to gain range of motion of the pelvic floor. This is the pelvic floor. Most people have tight pelvic floors or pelvic floors that don't have a ton of range of motion and they're just very weak. And it doesn't mean that they just don't have strength. It a lot of times means they just don't have range of motion to work in. And when they don't have range of motion, the muscles start to atrophy and they lose blood flow to the muscles and they lose the girth. And therefore they lose the hydration to the muscle, which really truly affects vaginal dryness. So what is one thing that you can do to start improving your vaginal dryness? It's to get pelvic floor range of motion. Gold standard would be to get internal pelvic floor physical therapy work done. And we do that at my clinic here in Edmonds, Washington and in Poulsville, Washington and we work through the tissue to help restore the vascularity, the blood flow, which helps improve the vaginal dryness. Now, if you don't have access to that or you can't make it here for an, an intensive appointment where you would travel here for you know a couple days um, and come in for multiple sessions, then I want you to start to in integrate these tools. And these are the tools I give my patients every single day to help them improve their vaginal moisture and decrease their vaginal dryness. And so the very first thing we're going to do is we're going to take a deep diaphragmatic breath together. When we do this type of breathing, we are improving the range of motion of the pelvic floor. So if you start by putting a hand on your belly, taking a nice deep breath in and let it go. Exhale. What's happening here is that the diaphragm is descending into the belly and the pelvic floor should be opening. And when we're getting this pelvic floor opening, then we are getting more vascularity, we're getting more blood flow, we're getting more range of motion. And that is going to help decrease the vaginal dryness. Okay? So you have to start implementing this at least five minutes a day of this type of breathing. It's kind of a yoga style breathing. You can put a hand on the chest because you don't want the air going so much into the chest. You want the air going into the belly. It's deep breath into belly. And exhale. And letting it go. 
All right, so once you've established that type of breathing and you're getting the pelvic floor opening and you can feel that pelvic floor opening, you wanna do other things that are gonna help open up that pelvic floor. One of those things is a hip stretch. So this is the second way to help decrease your vaginal dryness naturally. And let's do that together. So a, a nice hip stretch that anyone can integrate is seated here. I know maybe a dress wasn't the best idea for this video, but seated in this position, you're just gonna cross your leg up and over, sitting up nice and tall and hinging forward. And when we do this, we should feel a stretch in the hip itself. And when we start to open up the hip muscles, we are also opening up the pelvic floor. Now the pelvic floor is hard to directly stretch and that's why internal manual pelvic floor therapy is so absolutely important and kind of the gold standard. But when you don't have that, then you need to be doing the breathing to get your range of motion to improve the vaginal dryness and you need to be doing this type of hip stretch. These two things combined are going to start to change the game in your vaginal dryness situation. Now, some other people, um, they, you know, there's different medications. Some people like to do topical estrogen. You don't, if you want to keep it as natural as possible, a topical vitamin E oil can be very nice to help establish more of that superficial moisture and help improve the integrity of the vaginal canal and the pelvic floor itself, improving the function so you don't end up with with menopausal related vaginal dryness. So these are three essential things that you can be doing during menopause and during perimenopause to help keep your pelvic floor in absolute tip top shape. I hope you enjoy this video and I hope you start to implement these changes because when you can start to get connected to your pelvic floor, everything is gonna work better for you and you're gonna have a better menopause experience. So please tell your friends, send this video to them, like and subscribe to us on YouTube. Um, we truly appreciate you being here and we wish you the best aging process ever and we want you to feel super healthy, super fit and is super in control of your pelvic floor because nothing is worse than winding up being the 80 year old peeing your pants stuck in a wheelchair and so if we can get your pelvic floor in tip top shape now then that's going to help avoid the diapers and the sedentary life later in life so that's why it's important to invest in your pelvic health now and get acquainted with these muscles the vaginal dryness is just simply a symptom that your pelvic floor isn't doing its job and in order to get it in tip top shape all you have to do is start to implement these exercises that we talked about in this video so thank you so much for being here i'm dr allison fell owner of body motion physical therapy.